All right, guys, today we're doing some VQ35 cylinder heads. So the um, 350Z and the GT350 Skylines, uh, same engine. The engine before the 370Z. So I'll uh, turn it around, show you what we're going to do. We've got a standard port here. Uh, we're just going to measure it up. Uh, like I tell everyone, do some measurements, do some math, see what the CSAs are. This will determine where you actually need to do some work. All right, so let's have a look. So quick glance, as you can see, we've got a little pinch just inside the window. Like most casted heads, you can see they do this little four or five mil ramp in. This just helps with port alignment. So when OEM don't quite get the casting right, we don't have a hard edge that the air is hitting. So if the port's off slightly, it'll hit that little ramp. And look, it's not optimal, but it gets them, you know, gets them out of trouble for an OEM head. So the first thing we're going to do is measure, obviously, the window here, see how big it is, see if we need to improve it, and see how uh, it relates to the valve area. So we're about 31.7 at the throat, the bottom of the seat, you will take. So we're about 45.1, 45.2. This is out. We're not measuring the nip in the casting, we're measuring actual at the window. And vertical height, uh, I think it works out about 39 something here, let me see. Bring it up to just under that point. So we're going to work these out in a minute. Give it a little bit more. It's about there. That's pretty much it. So we're looking at about 40. All right, guys, we're going to get into the math in the next video. But one thing I wanted to clarify is we don't want to include the injector area in the CSA. I don't even like including that in flow testing because it actually gives... Uh, a, false figures. Uh, so it will inflate your figures, 8, 10, 12 CFM, depending on the cylinder head. Um, I like to block it off like a manifold would. So we're trying to work out the available CSA and the injector isn't part of our available CSA. And if we bolt a manifold on or even a short stock manifold with a little uh, radius, you'll see that. And, and it will change uh, your flow figures. And it also changes the velocity gradient through the port. So this is another important thing to look at uh, if you want to get down to the nitty gritty. All right, follow us in the next video and we'll break down the math and start getting into it.